soft. It's just run your fingers right through. I'm not even gonna lie. When I get the 4C kinky, <laughs> it's, 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 it's not this soft and you can't just run through. This is a natural wave. So it's not my texture, but we finessed it, right? Hey, my honey, he said, <laughs> I know it has been a wow, wow, hasn't it? Like, oh wow. I am coming here today with a another review or whatever but first and foremost my honeys i miss y'all so much and i got everything i need to make my videos again and it was just so much with whatever it was i'm not about to drag it along or go through the whole scenario of how everything was messed up for me and i couldn't record but now i got everything i need and i got it in a sacred spot so no one can get to it baby kj and we're not gonna let that bore us. So today, honeys, I have some hair, okay? It is by Curls Curls. Y'all know how I feel about my baggage. I just blew out my hair and I washed it, blew it out, and we're gonna braid it and get it prepped and prepared for our style. So if you've seen from the thumbnail, these are clippings. We have done clippings before on this channel, so I think I tried to switch it up a little bit. This hair is the natural curly texture. It's 18 inches. This hair is 100% virgin human hair. So same things apply, my honey. You can dye it. You can, you know, put that bleach on there. You could uh, straighten it out if you want it. You could blow dry it and give it a more blowed out look like this. It's not anything that matches my texture. So that's why we're gonna do the two braids in the front. You know, that's like the little trending style right now. And I just been wanting to do it. And I've been asking uh, my daughter, Anna, to let me do this style on her. And she's just so busy. So anywho. So like any hair company, you get your little care plan. It shows you and tells you everything you need to know about the hair. How to clean it, how to stop shedding. Okay, even some tips on how to style it. And then you got your bag, so when you're done with it, you know exactly what company or you know what hair you will want to wear today because, oh yeah, this orange bag is my uh, natural curl hair. Let me put that in. We pretty much know about these clips. This is like more than enough for a half a head. So I'm only doing a half a head I will dub back on these curls though, my honey, and do a whole head at some point, because those are beautiful. So anywho, they're 18 inches, but that's when it's pulled out, okay? This is what you get when it's not pulled out, but once you get it in, you see we're finessing and play with it and wet it and bring out some length to it, and we're not going to let that boil us. These are two long clips. On here, you get five good ones, okay? So... In the back, maybe like around this top part where we're going to be putting it, that's long enough for that. So we have to start small and then get bigger. So that's two of those. And you know within this row, they get smaller and smaller. This two only has four clips. Okay, so that was our longest. This is our second longest. And as you just keep peeling away, it just gets shorter and shorter. You have three clips here. So, and they're each two tracks. So, two clips here. Oh, you get another one with two and two. And the trick to it is, my honeys, is that if you only needed one of these sections, you can go in and cut that on either one of these. So, they gave us four tracks that only has two clips. If you really needed to finesse it, you can cut it and use it as one, okay, to cover up anything. But you pretty much know how this goes. You pop it open and then you close it. So when you pop it open, you stick it in and you just push and it's stuck, not going anywhere. So we're gonna braid it up in the back and then braid it up in the front and we're just gonna get right into that money. Okay, so I'm going from ear to ear with this. I don't want these tracks all the way back here, okay? So I want my tracks to sit up here. So while the braids is flat here, you would see hair growing from here, like, you know. So the key to getting this straight part, I don't have no another mirror. I'm gonna go right where I want my braids to start. Right about right there. 
I'm going to take my time and I'm going to go all the way across. The comb is rubbing on that scalp. I can feel if it's getting crooked. But I want to keep it as straight as possible and I want to come back kind of in the same area. Let's see how we did. Y'all already know this is my comb. Kale's Hair and Beauty. You can find them at kaleshairandbeauty.com. Okay. They're good parting combs. And I use them for a lot of my braid styles. I use them for a lot of whatever styles I do. Because it has that little tooth on there. You know what I'm saying? These work for whatever. But they're real good for parting. I don't think that I need to touch the back. I feel like that's fine. It should be, but if not, I cannot see it. It's going to take for me to uh, edit this video and see how crooked it actually was. <laughs> but as of right now, I'm only going to try to straighten these corners. Because at that top, I'm putting that curly hair up there. I could just go ahead and uh, feather it out over, me, over top of that part. For the back, I'm just braiding everything straight down. Nothing neat, nothing major, just out the way up. Y'all know how this go already. We have done this on this shot. I hope I ain't got too much hair for my honeys because I know y'all be talking about my little underarms. But this is like the first week of July that I actually got focused enough to take care of the business, sit down, do everything I need to do, get back into my set, you know, and all of that. So it's not like I just been out here doing anything <laughs> and said forget my honeys. I really haven't. I may get dressed up every now and again and uh, go have a few drinks or something, but nothing major i haven't been out of town i haven't done anything so that's what i'm saying about this is the first week i'm just getting back focused to me kale's 100 percent we want to leave a piece of our hair out just to cover the track see this is a track that will stand out and everybody would see it so we have to cover it i was hoping that it would have been you know whatever but and if i really want to get technical I could take a piece of that track out of there. Well, get some hair from the track there. Boom. And then cut that short and tease it over that track. Just tease it. I could do that. Because when you don't want to deal with leave out, <laughs> it is hot outside. That humidity is a mess. You don't want to deal with leave out. That's like your best bet. Tease, tease the mess out of some stuff, right? I can tell you right now, my honeys, our next video is going to be me cutting my ends, okay? So, due to the damage I've had in my head from eczema, it ain't right. It ain't right at all. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it all to the same length. And that's just meaning... Like this back here was growing out. But then you see that little section there? That's kind of from where the eczema was at. So we got some growth itch from the time it fell out all the way to now. That's pretty long for that. But it's not matching up. And then these ends, oh my God, they have to go. Look at that, terrible. So all this thickness here, that's what I want. I will be bringing all of this together, honey, and cutting that so I don't see nothing thin. That's how we're doing that. It may not be from that angle, but it's going to get cut. I'm cutting it. When I'm braiding my honeys for like a protective style or I'm about to put some weave over my little braid pattern, I always make sure I braid these edges up first on the ends. So basically, I'm about to show y'all what I'm talking about. Basically... I hope y'all can see, Lord. I saved the best oils. I still have one section here left to braid. 
which would be considered a middle section or off to the side section, whichever the case may be. But I don't want to leave this section down. Braid this, bring this braid up, and then when it's all said and done, this is still going to be left. And then you would sew it going across like that. If you got thicker hair, you may have a big lump right here, you know, from that hair right there. And then trying to swoop it over, and you got all that hair right there. So I keep, I make sure I braid that up and seal the deal. And by the time this braid is coming down, I'm going to grab both of them braids at one time. I already told y'all, the longer your hair is, you want to start adding that thing in up there. You don't want to wait till you get all the way down here because it's going to leave a lump. That's how you get it flat. You got to start it as soon as you hit it because your hair is long. We about to be bald head in a minute, so we ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't going to worry about my long hair. And this last braid, I will braid all the way to the end. All the way to the end. So I hope you guys can tell, this is still flat here. This is all flat. When I have to loop this on around and sew it down or whatever, you could crochet it in there, the lump will be all the way over here somewhere. It's not gonna be on my edge. So that's what I mean when I say all that. Out of this whole time that I have not seen or talked to my honeys, I have not wore any lace wigs or anything. I have been kind of getting my hair braided and just kind of being able to just freely let my hair relax and stuff. But I put a wig on the other night. And I was just saying before I did all that, how my edge area was just so looking good. And it's not really the edge area, it's really the forehead area. Everything was just looking filled in and good. And now I put that dang on wig on and all I did was use some spray. I didn't use any glue, lace glue. I just used the bed head that I used. Put that wig on, it got my forehead ski ball. That's another thing I'm about to try to tr figure out with these wigs. Like, I don't like that, you know? Like, of course I'm not putting spray over my hairline at all because that looks good. But you know, you put your spray mainly on your, your forehead so that it won't touch your hairline, but it just looks ski ball to me, like. <laughs> when you do a zigzag, I started my zigzag right here, right? You want your point here to match the points. You gotta match points. That's how you get like a good accurate one. I don't know my honeys, okay? I can't see all the way back there. But, I'm gonna add some hair to it. The ends are already teased. This is what I like to use for my feeders and stuff like that. Not less, whatever it may be. But I'm going in with the short. This is only 20 inches because I don't want these braids all extra long and then that hair only hangs here. So I'm gonna just try to more feed it at the top. This is what I have been my go-to thing as well, my honeys. Murray's Edge Wax. But when you're using products like this to braid hair, do stitch braids and all that, you don't want nothing in the hair. This already has moisturizing things and all that in there. And when this mixes with, you know, stuff, it doesn't do right. I put this along my part to get it sleek. Technically, you would take this stuff and get all your parts straight. I can't see. I ain't about to even try to do that. My eyes are already hurting. 
But when it comes to this part and I want to comb that product through, I would not use my comb to do it. I would use a um, fine tooth comb. And you want to use a nice sturdy one. You don't want one of them weak ones to just be in because you need, especially on this coarse hair. We want this braid sleek as possible. So I use this, this product, honey. Remember I was using the Slime Jam? My big Slime Jam. The Shine and Jam. I still use that too. But you want to take it and comb it through. Stroke it, baby. Stroke it, baby. Look at how uh, sweet that gets. This stuff is not like the Shine Jam. It don't get curly on you. It molds it and it sets it. Set it and forget it. I want the braid to come like that and then swoop down. Y'all know how they wear it. So I want it to start here. I'm leaving out a little baby hair. I swoop this up into the beginning. I know it's pretty self explanatory, but my honeys love when I explain, right? Don't leave out all that long, baby, here, my honeys, because that ain't going to swoop in there, right? I like to take the back of that comb too. You could do the same process all over again, my honey, once the braid is um, done. I like to go in with a real small piece now. I bought a mannequin head, my honey, and I'm going to show y'all how to braid on the mannequin. I thought that was smart. I think the video like that. I said, oh, let me get a mannequin. That's how I could show my honeys. Since I don't have many models, you know. I'm taking the smallest piece out. You always want to part that section at. Boom. That's all I'm using to start. I'm going to grab it. It's all about them fingers, my honey. And I'm right handed, if that matters. But... It's them arms for me. Uh, you gotta detangle everything before you go on to your next crossover because if not, it'll all get tangled. I need to mess up the groove of things. Now we can start swooping around. Remember, I said I'm adding more hair at the top. So it can all hang to a nice length here. When you get to them ends, you add some product on there for your natural hair. So they don't start flying away on you. Now this is why we use my Shine Jam for these ends here. Once all my hair is done, then I continue to braid down from where my hair stops with the Shine Jam. Cause you don't want to waste this product. This is a really good product. 
Okay, so for right now, I can leave that. Now, you will go on off in there, my honey, to get your wrinkles out. Even though it ain't the wrinkles for me, it's the actual braid. The braid looks dumb. And my honeys, these clip-ins, they were so simple to anchor. I had about a good maybe four or five braids back there. You can do more braids just to probably make it last longer. You can do less braids. Either way it go, these clip-ins will clip. You stick that comb down in there and then you snap it. It is locked and loaded. It's not going anywhere. So I just love the fact that, you know, it's you could put your hair in a ponytail. You don't even need braids. It's just that the braids for me is more protective. Okay, I grease them up. And then while they're just sitting there, they're eating. So ponytails tend to get a little more dried out quicker and little things like that. Okay, so I said my new method, honeys, of a protective style underneath, um, you know, like quick weaves and stuff like that will be to use the protein gel. All right. And that just even thickens your hair up it feeds it that good protein strengthening it out so i'm going to start that i told y'all my next video will probably be me cutting my hair i wanted to get all those ends off since i had that problem at the top i just made everything even and now every style that i do i will be going in with my protein um styling gel which you know at that time i'll show my honeys but anywho <laughs> I just had to come in on that. Y'all know I love my even. So that one is just like the little regular size and things. It's about eight, nine dollars. I usually buy the family pack, which is like 15. And in a family pack, it's a family drawer. Okay. So I find that when I put that even on and just put a little splash of mousse to it and then tie it down, it helps those baby hairs to last longer. Okay. So, um, most recently, on the update side of that, is that I would just do my edges with my even and then put the mousse along the edge, rubbing it through with my finger, and then putting my little paper strip down over top. So, another interesting fact is that when you're putting this mousse over braids that's big like this, you know, where it's just mostly your hair being sleek, you don't want to put that mousse really along your hair because your hair will revert back and curl back up so you just want to make sure you're hitting that braid only and then once you put that mousse on there you want to spray your little hairspray okay i have the bed hair here but i also like the gots to be and however so i go and i tie up as much of the braids and edges as possible to keep everything sleek and flat so that it won't wrinkle just in case i did get some mousse along my part or somewhere else okay you just want to make sure that it's remaining flat until it's completely dry which at this point i will probably put my client under the dryer just to help it uh dry quicker but uh, for me i went on about my day honey and got my little lashes done <laughs> so when i come back y'all will see the end result of this okay and my honeys as you notice i'm just dipping my little rollers so they're for my little curls or lace or whatever um where they would form rather but i kept this hairstyle in for two weeks i just put a bonnet over my head at night and when i got up with these curls i was just able to run my fingers through didn't even have to wet it or nothing it's like they bounced right back every morning and i'm just like busting some of the curls down at the top to hide that track because remember i didn't leave any hair out so it just looked it natural like everybody thought that was my real hair you know <laughs> even the braids the whole style was just sleek it wasn't overdone you know how we do it at some point but yes this hair was just some of everything for me it was very convenient i was able to get up and go and those two braids in the front lasted a while as well just from that mousse and everything mm -hmm. it's soft it's just run your fingers right through 
I'm not even gonna lie. When I get the 4C kinky, it's, 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 it's not this soft and you can't just run through. This is a natural wave. So it's not my texture, but we finessed it, right? I ain't trying to break my curls, my honey. I'm just trying to show y'all. It's just like that bounce back on the curl side. Them clips ain't going nowhere. Leave me a comment. Let me know how y'all like how it came out. Sorry y'all did not see me take the paper off. And I left my honeys. And when I got my lashes done. And I went and got my bottom lashes done. That's why my eyes are still red. Remember I had that red issue going on? This is not that. This is more so because of my lashes are gorge. Okay. And also my brows. So I will leave all that in the description. But y'all make sure y'all check out this hair company, Curls Curls. Okay. I'm going to leave everything about them in the description as well. This is like cute. And I was saying, oh, I'm just put this in and then it took it out. But, and I didn't like the braids, but I just fell in love. So me coming back in the house over here in Cleveland, Ohio, it is raining real bad. I got caught. I wouldn't care about this getting wet, but I would care about this getting wet, right? And look, I got a little lippage. So all I got to do is put that back down, my honey. But I ain't going to, oh, look, I got a little curl right there. But that's even kind of cute. It's still so much product that I'm able to just swoop it on down in the brown. Then I got this little jacket on, so I'm kind of starting to sweat. So all I would do about that, my honeys, is just put more product and wrap it again until it completely dries and I don't have to worry about it. But you see how this top, it don't move. <laughs> okay. It it don't move. And that's because of the wax. Okay. That's why I love it. It lasts longer and everything. So that mousse and all that, that's what does it. Like you put the wax on, you put that mousse, and you put a little hairspray to it. And then you just go ahead and tie it down until it dry. You can sit under the dryer, you can use a blow dryer. If I play with this hair, it is going to get bigger. I may keep this in for a couple days because I do feel some type of way with my lashes. She did my brows. I got them waxed. And she puts like a little uh, concealer around it. So they're clean. They're clean. So y'all, excuse me. You know I have not been around in a while and I apologize. But do not think for a second that I've just been out here all beautified. I feel like I was waking up. No lashes, no nothing, and I didn't even have time to get myself cute. So I'm just out in public like that. You know I don't even leave my house without earrings. You know sometimes I slip up and forget earrings and I just got on my bonnet with a bare face. Like I'm just not Kale's 100 at this point, right? So I said, you know what? Let me just go get some lashes done. We're going to get back into this hair because the lash complements the hair. And as she was doing them, she just loved the hair. She like, now is that human? I said, yes, it's 100% virgin human hair. You can dye it. You can bleach it. You can do whatever you need to do to it. You can use as much heat on it. And it's going to be good. Like, if I just wet it, my curl pattern will come right back. So no matter how much I bust it down, just wet it up, my honeys. Rub them fingers through it and let it dry. Them curls will be right back. So I'm not going to play with it too much. Because I know I'm going to sleep on it. And then when I wake up, it'll probably be mad. You know how curls do. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to fluff it. And it's going to get bigger anyway over the days. So ain't no point in doing it all right now. Only thing I may do, my honeys, is do go ahead and do a little more fluffing up here. So I can cover that track. But you get the point. I didn't leave no leave out. Now if I take this and I cut it probably like there or something and then start teasing it, it'll cover it all up but I'm to the point I don't even want to cut my little uh, clips <laughs> so I would just tease for the life of me okay my hoodie so that is it for this video okay leave me a comment let me know how you guys like it how it came out I do love these braids I love them with the zigzag you know usually we have, they just have a straight part and then the braid go like that at this part of the video, <laughs> I will see my head on the next one. Uh, 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 the next one. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you guys. More videos coming soon. I'm so excited to be back. Y'all just stick with me and bear with me.